Okay, here we are, we're, uh, folks, we're about to enter into Zoom Flume. At this point, you need to make sure that your feet are secured, your butts are on the inside half of that tube, and everyone's ready to paddle hard. This is a big rapid with two big drops at the top. We're gonna have to paddle hard through and then power around Pyramid Rock, and then we've got a really technical entrance, lots of zigzags, maybe a high side here and there. Be ready for some turns. You all ready to paddle hard? Well, first of all, my theory is that the river is in control, pretty much. And we often call the river gods are on your side. That you put a boat on the river, and all you're doing is dancing on top of the water. River Ballet. A lot of times, we become complacent in life. We can become complacent in our job. We, get, we just become complacent individuals just because that's how, that's how we operate. I mean, once you find your comfort zone, your comfort zone is where you feel happy. I have said over the years when people are, that uh, they're not sure about this, they're not sure about that, and my first answer is to follow your dreams. Whatever you would like to do, just go do it. One day when you're old and you're in your rocking chair, and if you haven't done these things that you wanted to do, you'll be regretful. The, the reason that I run the things that I run is because I need it. It, it requires a test of fortitude to overcome the fear of knowing that if you do fuck it up, it could be good. I didn't realize that was kind of an adrenaline junkie until I started doing this, and I was like, wow, I really like that feeling of on the back of my neck standing up and going, oh good God, you know, uh, this, this looks pretty bad. You have to be incredibly focused and I don't think there's ever a time when I'm doing anything else that I'm, I just have absolute focus on something and if necessary, uh, maybe scout a rapid, but I like to just run it blind and it's, again, that's just the ultimate test of your of your skills and all these things that we've trained for for years and we do on the river you just got to put it all together and that it's very exciting you know you're looking ahead you're trying to plan but you're on a moving conveyor belt it's not like you get to stop stand around and be like hmm, i think that's where i want to go it's it's constant decision making you're looking like oh that's where i need to go and then you need to get there rapping to me is some place that you can go Forget about moving away. Once you push off the banks and you're floating on the river, all that stuff that you worry about, you know, like car payments or rent or whatever it is, uh, just kind of floats away uh, with you. When you're away from noise, you, the mind can wander in areas where it doesn't normally when there's a lot of action going on or even just the noise of the cars, you know, the modern day phones and shortage of time and everyone in a big hurry. There's the river, there's only one speed you can go, and that's the, the speed of the river. You become one with the river. You're floating on, ten, on top of it, you're dancing with the river. All you're trying to do is enhance what the river's doing. The river will take you wherever it wants to take you. It allows you to, to, to not get set into it and settle. And I think that's the big thing. So you can just, you know, keep yourself busy, keep yourself occupied, keep yourself with something to do, to look forward to the next day. That's what we're all looking for, I think. But I would describe it as um, you're just enjoying a dance with the river. River Valley. Mm -hmm.